Hello, my name is Jeff Pritchard with Bridge Athletic, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to build a program from scratch. So the first step is going to be to navigate to your library and select the New Program button in the bottom left. Now we'll need to name our program. We'll go with Summer Training Program, click Save. And now we're brought to the Program Overview page where we'll be asked to add a phase. So what we want to select is New Phase because this is going to help us build a blank phase and start adding from scratch. If you notice, there's also the option to add in content that you've already built, such as template phases or phases from existing programs in your library. What this means is it allow you to either just upload a template that you have saved or be able to select a phase from a unassigned or assigned program in your library and clone it to this program here. Our last option is our training engine. This is where you'll be able to select several specifications for how your phase will build, such as the level, focus, and equipment. And then it will automatically build out a phase based on your specifications that you can edit from. However, we're gonna select new phase and click next. And now we're gonna have to name our phase before we are brought to the builder. So we wanna start with some foundation work. So we're gonna name our first phase foundation and click save. So now that we're in the builder, what we can do is we can start building our first day. You see here, it drops in a single workout without any blocks or exercises added. And what it allows us to do is to start filling in the information that we want to assign to our athletes. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to name our workout. This is an option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to name it uh, lower push so that way my athletes will be aware of what our focus is for our first day. And then I'm gonna mark this for 60 minutes as I know that's how long our session is going to be designed around. So our next steps in adding our first day of work is going to be to add our first warm up block. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna select add block. Similar functionality to what we see on a lot of different levels such as phase, workouts, or even blocks. We always add in the ability to either, to either add in a blank setting such as the new block, superset block, and start building from scratch, or you can import existing content such as a template block. We're gonna go new block, select new block, and add in our warm up for title, and then we're brought into this pop up page here. So when you add a block, what you're gonna be brought to is this add exercise pop up, where you're gonna be able to select multiple exercises that you would like to add to your block. So for our warm up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search for a squat movement. And then I'm gonna select this first body weight squat. I wanna add in some scapula push-ups to my exercises as well for my warm-up. And then finish our warm-up block with a few Superman exercises. So we'll select the Superman repetitions and click insert. Once we have inserted them into the block here, you can see they all default with some level of prescriptions. For example, the squat is defaulted with time, scapular push-ups and Superman are defaulted with reps. If we wanted to, we could select the squat to start adding in our prescription. If time is the correct prescription for us, what we can do is just mark 30 seconds as our time. If we want multiple sets, we could either add sets directly from this option here to then start adding in different time. Or by hovering over a set, we could just clone it to create multiple sets. Now for our scapular push-ups, if reps are what we want to work with, we could either select the scapular push-ups and do what we did with the squat, which is add the reps in here and continue through for three sets. Or we can mark 12 reps here. And then by hovering over this, we could clone a set multiple times to get three sets. For example here, maybe we want to clone our Superman repetitions, but we want to change this from a rep based with rest to just a time-based movement. What we'll do is we'll select the Superman repetitions, delete the rest from all of our set types, and then mark time and replace reps. So now what we could do is we could just add in 30 seconds of time and just tab through to keep entering in different time variations, or simply select this apply to all button to mark multiple sets as the same. So once you're satisfied with your warm-up block, what we can do is minimize it by selecting this plus or minus in the corner um, and just hide the exercises within the block. And then we can add our next block. What I would like to do is select a template block from our templates to use going forward. So what I wanna do is I wanna look through our Exos movement to find a block of training that is going to be appropriate for us. So as we look here, 
maybe this looks about right. It's got some bent over rows to it, squats. What we wanna do is double check, make sure that this block is appropriate. We can preview it, view, make sure that everything is good. Reps, weight, seems like we're gonna to have to fill in some of the prescriptions for these. So we're gonna select insert. Now that we have these, if we wanted to just quickly and easily replace the movement or replace the prescription of an exercise, we can just re-select it, mark off the prescription we don't wanna use, and then have it set going forward. So now if we know that we wanna use our bent over one arm dumbbell as an exercise, we can start filling in the reps and pounds that we wanna use for it by either selecting the exercise and filling in the information here, or by filling in the reps and tabbing through to fill out all of my set type and prescriptions. So perhaps we know that we want our squat to be 30 seconds as well. What our one leg balancing is, what we could do is we could just select the squat, remove the reps, or we could navigate to the bottom right corner of the exercise that we like the prescriptions for, select this, copy the prescriptions, and then be able to paste them and replace the prescriptions of another exercise. So by pasting the three sets of 30 seconds into my squat, I now have sets that I'm satisfied with. I'm gonna have 30 seconds of squat work, 30 seconds of one leg balancing, and then some bent over rows on my first day. So now that we're satisfied with the changes we've made to our template, what we can do is minimize it and select the menu in order to change the default name from our template. So now we can mark this as a strength primary for our movement, click save, and now we have an appropriate title for our block. Some of the other things you can see here on this block level are the ability to clone existing blocks. So same as what you see here, you can always clone, delete, or switch existing blocks. So if I were to add in a new block, for example here, I could always select it, choose switch, and what this will allow me to do is to select templates from within my library to use and replace for the existing block. So maybe I like this one here, I'll select it, and you'll see it makes a one-to-one -one swap for the block I had selected for my template. I can then go in, rename this for strength secondary, save it and be satisfied with my first day of work. So now that we're satisfied with our first day of work, you can see here we don't have an area to actually add in more work. In order to do that, what we have to do is actually add in a workout to be able to build off of. So what we do is we select this add day button here in the top right, and we can choose to either import a template workout from our library or select a new workout to build from scratch. So if you see this day two is now showing up the exact same as our day one did when we defaulted into this phase. However, you could always select workouts similar to what we see on our block level. So this pop-up appears, same tabs as what we saw on the blocks, just sorting through how you're able to view all of your templates. It makes it easier to find them. So once you have a template that you are satisfied with, you can preview it to make sure all of the equipment is things that you have available to you and that this is the appropriate workout to assign to your athletes. And then you can insert it into the day. So now we see here, this day has all strength work. It's got strength primary, secondary, and rotational. However, it's missing some warm up. So what we could do is we could always go and start building a warm up block from scratch, same as what we did for day one. However, maybe this is a warm up we want to use regularly. It's something we want to use going forward. There's two things that we could do. We could save this as a template, add it as a template block here, and just start building for our day two, and then add it as a template block here, and move it to the top to have our warm up as our first block. Or we could just simply clone a block twice, grab the warm up block in question, and slide it over to the position that we want to use. So, similar to the day two, we can grab that warm up and slide it all the way over to day three. And now we have warm up blocks for all three of our days. The only thing missing now is a strength primary on our day two. So what we can do is we can look at our strength primary from day one and day three, see if either of these are a good fit for us. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this one and make adjustments to it for my day two. So I cloned it, I throw it into here, and now I'm gonna look at this to see what I can change to make this more appropriate for my athletes. So maybe the first thing I do is I'm going to actually switch this exercise. I don't wanna do the same thing two days in a row. So I'm gonna switch this for a barbell back squat. What I wanna do is I don't wanna assign this exercise with absolute weight. My best option is going to be to use either percent one RME or another one of our weight options. So you see here as I expand the back squat barbell, you'll see the option for weight has a carrot that I can choose. This drop down will allow me to choose what unit I'm actually using in, whether or not it's going to be pounds or kilograms. And finally, it'll allow you to choose how this weight will be assigned to your athletes. So what I've done is I've adjusted my prescriptions here to be something more appropriate for my athlete. And then I can click out and see them saved here. And now I can go through and just replace my other movements to make them more appropriate. So instead of a squat, we're gonna swap this for a lunge. And we're gonna swap this for a Superman. And so now we have a different block on our day two. We're rather satisfied with this programming. And now what we wanna do is expand our phase into multiple weeks. So that way we can start having our athletes progress across our phase from week one to week two to potentially week three. So to expand these weeks, what you're gonna to need to do is go to week actions. From here, you'll be able to add a week. What this does is it will just drop in a brand new empty week for you to build off of. So if you see here, it says week one of two. This is the week we were building off of originally. When we added in our new week, it's dropped in here directly behind it. Alternatively, what you could do is select to clone a week. And what that does is it takes a one-to-one -one replica of the current week and just adds it at the end of the phase. So now we have three weeks of work, our second week completely empty, and our third week is a clone of our first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this empty week in the middle, so that way I can have my athletes progress across a couple of weeks. So let's clone this one more time, and then we can start talking about our progressions. And so what I could do is I could go to week one, look at all of my exercises, think of a beginning progression for them, assign it here, move to week two, try to remember what all of my beginning progressions were, assign a progression to that, and then move on to week three and do the same thing again. Alternatively, what your option is, is you can select this week view here to change the way that you view your program from a standard view, which is every day of the week in order, to a load progression view. What this allows you to do is instead of viewing each week as day one, two, and three, this allows you to view day one stacked next to each other for each week. So what we're viewing here is day one of week one, day one of week two, and day one of week three. And this will allow us to quickly and easily build progressions for our athletes. So if we know that we want our athletes to be progressing in weight on the bent over one arm barbell, perhaps we wanna start a little bit softer and just go with a progression of 80, 85, 90 pounds. And then our second week, we're gonna to progress to 85, 90, 95, and then our final week, we're actually just going to jump another five pounds to 100 on our final set. Once you're satisfied with the progression built into your phase, you can then go back out to your overview to add in your next phase and begin building your next phase of training. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and build out the remainder of this program so that we can see a completed version. So here's an example of a completed program. What we can then do is just quickly assign this to our athletes by selecting assign training and then going to select our team before finally selecting our athletes such as Joe here or our coaches. So we can add both an athlete and a coach to a program. And then finally, we determine whether or not we want our program on a schedule such as a calendar or if we want our program to remain without a schedule as a playlist. So once we select next, what we have to do is just review our assignment before selecting assigned training and finally determining whether or not we want to notify our athletes of the assignment. So we'll select yes. And now we've successfully assigned our training and our athletes are ready to download the app and begin training ASAP.